Hi there. Building processes that involve UI automation and keeping them up to date can be time consuming, especially when you are dealing with frequent changes in user interfaces that are used in multiple automations. For this reason, Studio version 2020.10 introduces the Object Repository, a simple and centralized way to manage, store, and reuse elements you work with in UI automation. The Object Repository panel is where you can manage the UI descriptors for the applications, screens, and elements you need to work with. When it comes to adding elements, you can do this manually or automatically by using a wizard that quickly captures them. Drag descriptors and drop them in your workflows to quickly add new UI activities or update the target of existing ones. Access the UI Activities tab to see a list of all UI activities in the project that are linked to the object repository. Add descriptors to the snippets panel to reuse them for testing purposes or extract them as UI libraries that you can publish and install as dependencies in other projects. And last but not least, access objects from UI libraries installed as dependencies to the current project. Now, to be able to work with object repository, beside the UI automation activities package, you also need to instruct Studio to use the modern design experience. Organizations can also enforce object repository for all new projects. Once you create a new process, make sure that modern design experience is enabled at project level. Let's say you want to do a simple operation on the calculator app. We will be using the Windows 7 calculator app for this example. When you begin recording with the capture elements wizard, you first need to add the application. Then, you can add each element along with their anchors. Once you save your changes, you can find all the added elements under the project UI descriptors tree. Dragging and dropping the descriptors to your workflow filters the compatible activities so you can choose the one you need. For this case, start by adding the use application browser activity for the calculator app screen, then add the click activity for every descriptor. Do a test run, save it, and you're good to go. In case you want to use these descriptors in other local projects, you can add them to the snippets panel. You can also extract them in a library, which you can publish to Orchestrator. This way both you and your colleagues can use these descriptors in your automations. Now, what if your application gets updated and doesn't look the same anymore, but you need to run the same process? Let's say you decide to move to Windows 10 and the new calculator looks totally different. Instead of doing a new project from scratch, all you need to do is update the existing descriptors. Bring up the initial project, and in the Object Repository panel, choose the new screen. Then, update each descriptor with their new target and anchor. Check that the process works, and you're done. You can publish the new library to Orchestrator, so that your colleagues can use it too. In case you need to sort the activities and their assigned objects in a hierarchical order, navigate to the UI Activities tab. One more thing. Suppose you need a new process involving a different task in the same application, and you already have the elements captured with Object Repository. In our case, maybe a different operation in the calculator app. Simply install the UI library. Drag and drop the descriptors to your process in the order you need them. And your process should be ready in no time. Imagine how fast you can create your processes and then keep them up to date by using our object repository. Thanks for watching.